Two new fantastic £2 coins and a 50p coin were released this month. We also updated our scarcity index. And the face value coin ballot was opened. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Rachel and welcome to the Change Checker video newsletter for May. So shall we start with the first £2 that was released this month? Um, that's of course the D-Day £2. So this coin was actually released um, as part of the annual coin set, so a lot of people might already have this coin in their collection if they purchased the um, annual coin set back in January. And it's a great coin and the anniversary, it's a, it's a big one this it's year, isn't huge, it? It's huge, yeah. So it's the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings. And I think this coin is just such a fitting tribute for that anniversary, really. Um, the design is just spectacular. I mean, we showed you it in, uh, at the start of the year in the 2019 coin set. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, it is one of my favourites of the year. I think it's just really, really beautiful. It shows the beaches and the five different arrows from the different points they were going to land on those beaches. And those are all codenamed as well. So you can, if you look closely, see all the different names for the different beaches too. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of other commemoratives um, issued this year, like from different countries um, and different mints um, to mark the 75th anniversary mm -hmm. of D-Day. But I think this one, it's a Royal Mint issue, it's a two pound. I don't think you can get any better than that. No, you really can't. It really captures it on the coin and mm -hmm. I, it's a great coin. And if you haven't got it, it's now available to own individually if you wanted to add it to your collection. So the next two pound coin that was released this month is a really special one. And it's actually the second coin in the three coin series, which is being issued to commemorate the 250th anniversary of Captain Cook's Voyage of Discovery. It's an exciting theme for this yeah. coin. And I think it's even more exciting because we've had the first one and now we've got the next one, we can sort of see the, the overall image mm. appearing and it's, it's quite exciting it knowing is. that that's coming. And yeah. It's like a jigsaw puzzle really, isn't it? So we've yeah. got the two pieces so far and the third one will then complete the whole image, which is going to be the ships of the HM Bark Endeavour, which is Captain Cook's famous ship that he mm. took on his maiden voyage. Yeah. Um, really exciting. I love these coins. Yeah, so, so can't wait to see the last one. The series won't be completed until 2020, um, but I think it's safe to say the design, like, there's just so much detail. It's really on intricate, it, isn't it? Isn't it? Mm. Yeah, so designed by Gary Breeze. Um, the first part um, was the tail end of the ship. We've now had the top of the ship and then we'll see the front part of the ship for the final coin next year, which I can't wait to see. And one more thing, so you mentioned it was designed by Gary Breeze. He also designed the 2015 Battle of Britain 50p. Mm -hmm. um, and I think if you compare those two designs, they're very different, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are really. You wouldn't notice that it's no. the same sign at all. So yeah, he's very good at adapting to his themes. Yeah, um, but yeah, great coins. I think they've been really popular. Um, and so if you wanted, if you haven't seen the design yet, make sure you head over to our blog and um, there's all the information you need on the series over there. So the final coin that was released in May was of course the Sherlock Holmes 50p. And this coin has been really, really popular. It's a fantastic design. It really is, isn't it? So designed by Stephen Raw, and he actually designed the Armistice two pound, which was released last yeah, year. Yeah, and I can't see the similarities no, in the design at all. Really different, two yeah. very, very different coins. Um, but this one in particular, I think it's really quite striking. It's got the silhouette of um, Sherlock Holmes in the middle, and it's really quite iconic, isn't it? That deer stalker hat and his pipe that he's smoking. Yeah, and it's also got the um, all the stories around the outside and mm. I, yeah to, all together it's a really fantastic design yes. and thankfully the coin went into circulation and we've actually seen people finding it already it's really so. exciting isn't it i mean you're going to need to get out your magnifying glass <laughs> and have a look see so uh, look for your chain see if you can find it yeah. um i can't wait to see if we can find something i can't change. wait either i mean we knew that it was you know go, possibly going to enter circulation but we didn't think it would be this soon we didn't no. know when and um, Thankfully, there's some demand for 50p, so we can actually see a brand new design in circulation. Um, which is, and I'm so glad it's this one as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, people seem to really love the coin. We actually went on a little detective mission up to London ourselves, um, showing people the new coin and getting their ideas about what they think about the design. Everyone loved it. Um, I'm sure you'll love it too, but let us know what you think. And you can always, of course, purchase this coin now as it's available to own individually. So in May we've updated our scarcity index and brought you all the latest figures for the 10p, 50p and £2 coins that you can find in circulation. So you can go over there, track your coins and see if they've moved up or down the index to see how sought after they are. We have started to see some settling down of the A to Z 10p index, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, there's only been a little bit of movement and mm -hmm. I guess the main ones to mention, if you want more information obviously head over to the blog, but I think the top three that we'll mention today is the, uh, the 10ps that yeah. have moved around a bit. So the top um, 
scarcest 10p coins are K, S and F, so that's King Arthur, Stonehenge and Fish and Chips, and I love the Fish and Chips one. <laughs> yeah, it's your favourite. <laughs> <laughs> um, there, there are 7.3 million coins of those 10 p's in circulation, so there's a lot more now. Mm. People are starting to find them, add them to their collection and request to spot them. I think the thing is, when you get these coins, you're wanting to hold on to them, aren't you? And you're very lucky if you actually get duplicates, and it's only when you do that you'll want to swap them. But as more and more are starting to be found, we are seeing the data is increasing and we're able to build up a more accurate picture of exactly what's going on. And it's really interesting to see the three that have come out on top. Yeah, and I think even though these three are, um, you know, top of the list, really they're all as sought after as each other. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're all fantastic designs and yeah. if you find one or two, then that's great. And I think, you know, as you said, people are going to be holding on to them. So mm -hmm. if you do find one, that's really, really lucky. So if you don't know already, we have launched the Change Checker Base Value Coin Ballot and basically this gives um, collectors the chance to own the latest UK 50p and £2 coins at base value. So 1,000 people for every brand new 50p coin and 500 people for every £2 coin will be selected to own the coin for face value. So this is a great opportunity to be able to own the latest new issues at face value um, and it's something we're really excited about. If you've entered the ballot so far and you've been lucky enough to win, congratulations. But if you'd like to enter, it's really, really easy. Just head over to www.facevaluecoinballot.com. And of course, once you've entered, you'll be entered into the draw for all future 2019 UK 50p and £2 coins. So whenever they are released by the Royal Mint, you'll be in with a chance of um, getting hold of them at face value. Um, it's a really, really good opportunity. Obviously, we've seen a decline in coins entering circulation and we wanted to do something positive to sort of combat that because mm -hmm. it is frustrating it when is, you can't yeah. find coins in circulation. So hopefully this will um, ease the pressure a little bit, I guess. Yeah. And I don't know, we're really proud of it and we're happy that we're able to offer it to um, change checkers. So the ICC Cricket World Cup is taking place in England and Wales this year and to celebrate the Isle of Man are doing something really, really special. Yeah, so this is really exciting news for coin collectors and also cricket fans mm -hmm. because they have announced the release of five brand new 50ps all celebrating um, the ICC Cricket World Cup and yeah, it's really... It's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, this one? really cool actually. Yeah, I think the Isle of Man come up with some really interesting designs. Really, really good yeah, at the moment. Themes. They seem to just hit the nail on the head every they single really time. Do. I really look look forward to the coins um, that they are issuing. And they all seem to be entering circulation on the Isle of Man as well. So they are really, really lucky yeah. at the moment. I mean, it is very limited uh, mintage figures, mm. but that's to be expected because the population is so much smaller. So just um, 12,500 of each design will be entering circulation. Um, but for cricket fans out there, the designs are slip catch, cover drive, stumping, delivery stride, and the official logo of the ICC. So if you don't know what those terms mean, or if you <laughs> want to see what the coins are, go and have a look at our blog because we've put a bit of information there for you. So we've recently updated our mintage charts on our blogs because um, some of the 2016 coins were mistakenly, uh, the mintage figures were mistakenly listed. So we've updated those and although the mintages haven't changed too much, there is one in particular mm. that has really stood out. And um, yeah, if you, if you haven't read our blog um, so far, it's actually the Great Fire of London, two pound. Now, this is one of my favourite designs. It's a lovely coin, isn't it? And I have actually found it in circulation, so I'm actually quite surprised at, you know, the mintage figure, which was uh, 5,135,000. So that's what it was listed at, but actually there's nowhere near as many no, of those. It's almost 4 million less than that, so it's actually quite a lot rarer than we thought. So there's now 1,625,000 that are actually out there. So if you found one, you're actually very, very lucky and you should be holding on to that coin. It does mean this coin's moved up the scarcity index, so of the £2 coins, this one has made the biggest change. Um, and of course it's moved up the mintage figure charts as well. So it is a lot rarer than we thought yeah. previously. Um, so a couple of other coins were affected as well. So if you want in more information on the coins that were affected, make sure you head over to our updated blog um, with the mintage figures, all the new ones there. So we also put together a blog this month about some of the errors you can find on £2 coins. And it's actually really interesting to see the fact that the coin is obviously bimetallic, um, yeah. so there are more pronounced um, misstrikes and what some people will think are errors um, that you can see with these coins. It's actually quite interesting to look at them and to figure out is this an error, so is it something that's happened because um, something's gone wrong with a man-made issue 
or is this a misstrike? Is it just down to the mass production process? Because, of course, the amount of coins the Royal Mint strike, there's, there's bound to be things that go wrong. Yeah. Um, dyes get worn down, bits of debris get caught. Um, and so you can find different variations on coins. And the two pounds in particular are really, really interesting. Yeah, and I didn't realise how many different variations, you know, the blog that Rachel's put together, it's really visual. There's loads of images of different errors that have been found. Um, and a lot of them, I just can't believe that it's, you know, some of the errors that come up. It's a really, really interesting blog. Yeah. So if you want more information, if you found something a bit different, um, it's a really interesting read. So I really recommend that you go and have a look at that blog. We've launched our brand new skill for Alexa and we're really, really excited for you guys to go and try it out. All you need to do is head over to Alexa, download the skill and then simply ask Change Checker to find out about all the 50p and £2 commemorative coins that you can find in your change. So all you need to do is head over to changechecker.org forward slash Alexa skill, um, download it for yourself and all the information you need on how to work it is all there for you. We'd really, really love for you to try it out and give us your feedback. As always, it's been really, really busy here. We've had loads of exciting news, updates and coin releases that we'd love to share with you. So make sure you join us next month where we'll be discussing everything coin related for the month of June.